Well, um, it wasn't necessarily something I wanted to be a part of. Um, so how did I hear about it? Um, I was listening to um, the serm a sermon from the pastor on YouTube. And, um, you know, after the sermon, there, was, I, I, there were a few friends who are on the same listening, you know, and they go to different churches. We're all going to different, you know. You know, when, when that uh, Zoom revolution just started, or that's, you know, when we couldn't go to church, you would listen to different sermons from different churches. So that's what was going on. Um, I joined the, the church again on YouTube just to hear what. And it was a Sunday that he was now announcing that, you know, church has left the building uh, and so on. But still, it wasn't that I had a desire to come to house church. I didn't come to house church for another two or three weeks after that, but only because my friends were going there. So it was, you know, a friend of mine was coming from Ikeja to come to house fellowship and I was thinking, anyway, you give me an opportunity to, to meet with him and I know that it is this particular church, but it didn't matter what brand, which church it was. I was not concerned with about the church itself. It was just fellowship, you know, and the, uh, the, the fact that we could all meet up. So I came here and um, of course, you know, the rest is history in terms of, um, uh, but you know, it's interesting because you don't necessarily think that it is this church that is doing it, whether it is called um, Redeemed Church or it's called High Life Church, or it's just church. What really gets you is the presence of God here and the fact that people are relaxed, you know. And I think, um, you know, that's really, I mean, I, I just enjoy it. Okay, so, so for me, um, church, uh, going to church building and church is, it fits into a particular time and mode. So you, um, you dress up, most of, a lot of times you dress up and, and it's an occasion that is happening. It is like going to quote unquote, like a concert because you know there's going to be a performance you more or less know who's going to talk um, and um, the length of time they're going to talk for um, and the fact that at some point the choir will come along um, and you will already have prepared your own responses to all of those things subconsciously that's what you do because you know what the flow is. After the service, there's going to be tea and coffee. So at that point, you do your socializing. You know, exactly. And, and, and that's the way really organized, you know, church is. At a certain time, it closes and people leave. And that's it. You've had, quote unquote, your fix for the week, right? Um, of course, within that, um, you know, the context, the, the, the service talks about God. Okay, talks about God, right? You may or may not have an encounter with God, um, but it is something that allows you, quote unquote, to come into a place where God is being spoken about, and they expect you to connect with that conversation. Um, house fellowship is a bit different because it goes up and it goes sideways as well. Um, you, you, uh, there is a fellowship that happens amongst those who come. It is informal. You know, yes, there is a leader, but the leader 
you know, who has received what they want to talk about and the topics even are shared, you know. So you even know that this is what we are doing, but you can turn to your neighbor and say, or your neighbor can come up with a point which the leader is not coming up with, you know, to now say, this is my experience of God. So I think what happens is that you can compare and contrast. You see where that person is, and you can compare it to where you are. If you are a teacher of the word, which again is something that I love around about the fellowship, um, that I can also say, I can share, even though I'm not the leader. I can say, look, this has been my experience on this journey, you know, and then I can com connect it with a scripture. Um, and I'm fulfilled because that's what I like to do. I like to tell, you know, to teach, you know. But I'm also fulfilled by hearing people's experience and also contextualizing. You know what I mean by that? It gives us the context of Nigeria. Um, you know, what people are going through or how things have shaped their, how culture has shaped their response to God. You know, um, how uh, people um, have interpreted also the same scripture that you read, you know. So the horizontal is, 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 is very good. Then the vertical is also very good because um, at some point you meet with God because you f get to know why you're here, you know. So um, it, it, it has a more personal resonance for me, house fellowship. Um, it's not that I can't flow into ch in churches or that I haven't been going to church because I do and I enjoy it. But I find that um, because of the closeness between people that um, there's a stronger uh, work that can be done in the house fellowship.